83 megapascals, using the Schrader valve, 4. Upon opening the solenoid valve, 1, the air from the tank is moved to the projectile, which is fired out of the muzzle. Pneumatic launchers are thought about a little bit harder to develop due to the need of a totally airtight building. These cannons have four fundamental components, a filling valve and air chamber A pressure release valve A barrel and a pneumatic spot gun, air is pumped into the pressure chamber. The filling valve is usually a typically available type such as a Schrader or Presta valve but other assemblies to pressurize the cannon such as quick release connections with ball or inspect valves have been used. The pressure release valve is frequently among a variety of commercially available types such as a pipes ball valve, and watering sprinkler valve or a fast exhaust valve. The most common custom design utilized is the piston valve. Numerous valves set up to be activated together are sometimes utilized as an option to a single bigger valve. The variety of pneumatic cannons is more variable than the variety of combustion spud guns due to the increased variation possible in the parts. Pneumatic spud weapons are generally more effective than combustion spud guns. A typical combustion weapon creates typical chamber pressures of about 30 pounds per square inch, 210 kilopascals, with peaks of around 70,100 pounds per square inch, 500,700 kilopascals, while the typical pneumatic gun can run at pressures in the vicinity of 100 pounds per square inch, 700 kilopascals, 4 megapascals, or greater. PVC solidified carbon dioxide cannon in usage, 1. 5 kilograms, 3 pounds, of concrete is poured at the bottom to reinforce it, and plastic sleeves are used to stiffen the lower, greatest pressure, part. A solidified carbon dioxide cannon uses the sublimation of solid carbon dioxide to create the gas pressure to propel a projectile and is a variation of the burst disc cannon. When the pressure of the carbon dioxide from the subliming dry ice constructs high enough, the projectile will be burned out of the tube. The pressures of such devices are not extremely high as it only needs to construct enough to get rid of the fixed friction of the projectile jammed in the barrel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.